Hey, what's up guys? This is Ken over at Grom Audio and today I have a 2014 Lexus GS350 F Sport. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install a V-Line VL2 unit into this vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take apart the radio, pull out the navigation screen, wire up a V-Line VL2, and then uh, just basically go through with you guys the features of the V-Line and how it looks like inside this vehicle. So come along and check it out. All right guys, we're inside our 2014 Lexus GS350. 350 and I'm gonna go ahead and take apart this trim here So it pulls out towards me doesn't lift up or tilt down So remember it comes out towards you and then also we have the start stop engine button here on the left So make sure just be careful because there is a little connector behind that So to take this trim off in order to get to our radio There's a little gap right here. So I'm gonna stick my plastic pry tool just kind of come up to the edge here and just give it a little little nudge, a little twist. And there it goes, it kind of popped out a little bit. So from there I'm just going to just kind of work around the edges, open the glove box, give me a little more access room here. So slowly work it around and then again get to the start stop button and I'm going to disconnect that harness. Okay, and there it is. So as you can see the tabs, they come out this way, come out towards you like so. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. All right, I got a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down below here and get ready to pull out our radio. There's two screws down here. It's kinda a little bit hidden, but I got my socket. I believe they are, they're 10 millimeter. So go ahead and Unscrew those. Alright, that's two. Okay, now I can now I got the two screws removed, I can go ahead and pull my radio out. So let me just make sure my cloth is good. Okay. Once I have the radio out, I can kind of rest it aside and now I have access to all the wires I need to uh, install our V-Line 2. So next up, we're going to be taking apart the screen. Alright guys, so in our 2014 Lexus GS350, in order to take off the screen, we have to remove this trim or bezel around the screen first. And to do that, there's actually three plastic screws up top here. So I've already gone ahead and removed it just because the angle's a little awkward. It would have been hard for me to show you anyways. But there's three of them down here and you remove them. And once you remove them, take your plastic pry tool and just kind of gently wedge down. And then once you kind of stick your finger through, you can kind of pull back towards you from the top and it kind of just pops off like so. And just kind of work your way around the edges and then the bottom kind of just, there's clips down there too that kind of held in place. So kind of just pop it up as well. So once you got that popped up, you can slowly work your way forward and there it is. Again, as you can see, just a couple, couple tabs here and it just kind of lifts up towards you. All right. And then the screen is actually held on with four screws. Again, those are 10 millimeters, two on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, remove those now. And that'll give us access to the screen where we can connect our GVMF cable. All right guys, I took out the four screws that's holding the screen in, and now the screen should just come off like so. Kind of 
kind of tilted towards you a little bit. And there it is, guys. Here's the screen. All right, guys, here's our GVMF cable. I'm gonna take our cable and plug this behind the screen. So I'm just gonna unplug the factory side behind the screen and plug our cable in. And then I'm gonna take the factory connector and connect it to the other end of our cable. All right. So now I'm just gonna put the screen back on. So bottom first. Okay, there it is. So I'm just gonna leave this hooked up to the side because before I button everything back up, I do want to test the system to make sure everything's working as it should. So next thing I'm gonna do is connect the power harness which goes behind the radio. All right guys, so this is the MCF Lex 789 power cable that goes to our V-Line. And the connection is really simple. You unplug the matching connector that's behind the radio and you plug it into the female side and then on our end, the male side goes into the radio. So there's two of these connections that we have to do. All right, guys, and that's the connection to behind the radio. So again, I'm just gonna tuck this aside or just kind of gently push this back into place, temporary back into place, and that way I can test out the radio before I button everything back up. So now I'm just gonna connect our main V-Line unit, um, reconnect the ignition switch, and test everything out. All right, guys, I have our V-Line unit connected to our 2014 Lexus GS350 and let's check it out okay it looks like everything's working our v-line's booted up uh, let's take a look at Okay, let's take a look at our network settings, see if we're connected online. We should be connected online. All right, let's try our local music. I do have a flash drive plugged in for local music. Looks like it's working. Good. Just checking out the steering wheel controls for local music. All right, that works. Make sure the uh, backup camera works. Shut the vehicle on. Let's put her in reverse. And all right, there it is. It's in reverse. All right. Let's make sure the factory side, everything is working. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, let's see our map. Oh, I'm still in the so if you press map on the Lexus menu, it actually activates Google Map. So, so let me let me switch out of here. Can't fully understand without understanding. Cool. All right. So it looks like the factory side is good.
Alright, we're back in V-Line. Great, so here it is guys. This is V-Line VL2 in our 2014 Lexus GS350.